Okay, a quick review on scatter plots, trend lines, and everything that goes with it. Um, here's an example. The plot shows the reading level and height for 16 students in a district. Here's a picture of that. Okay. Reading level, height. Notice the break on the y-axis, which means they're skipping from 0 to 35 inches. Okay. First thing we're supposed to do is describe the association. When we describe an association, we talk about the x-axis, we talk about the y-axis, and then we talk about the direction they're moving and try and decide if it's a positive or a negative association or if there's no association. For this particular example, reading level is increasing and height is increasing. This is a positive association. Now we're asked to draw a trend line. Placing a ruler on the data in different spots, and if it's a see-through ruler, you can kind of see behind it to where your data points are. How do you draw a trend line? You're supposed to place it in the general trend of the data, ignore any outliers, and you want to have as many plot points above the line as you have below the line. If I were to draw it here, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight above the line, and one, two, three below the line. That's not going to work. Shift it a little bit. Here I'm going to have one, two, three, four above, and one, two, three, four, five below. Might be my best bet. Okay. Shift it a little bit. One, two, three, four, five above. One, two, three, four, five below. That looks like it's about the best I'm going to get. Draw that line. Okay. Okay, remember we're ignoring the outlier. So I've got one, two, three, four, five below, one, two, three, four, five above. I did pretty good. Okay. We need to write the equation of the line. And remember that the equation should be y equals mx plus b, which means that we need to find m and b. To find your slope, grab two points on the line and calculate the change in y over the change in x. This one's pretty easy to see. It is 10 comma 65. Another one that's, e this is too close, I don't want to calculate that one, so I'm going to go down to this one, and this is 5, 55. Slope is going to be the rise over the run, so I need 65 minus 55 over 10 minus 5. I end up with 10 over 5, or the, the slope of 2. Okay, m equals 2. You also need b, which is where the line hits the y-axis. So my b here is 45. And the slope of my line, y equals 2x plus 45. Most of the time, your equations are not going to be so friendly. You're going to have a weird fraction over here, and this may or may not be zero. Okay, but whatever equation you come up with is what you're forced to work with. The last question asks us to predict the height of a student with a reading level of 12. That's not on the chart, so we're going to use extrapolation by plugging in 12 for the reading level, which is x, and figuring out what we come up with. So if y equals 2x plus 45, y equals 2 times 12 plus 45, y equals 24 plus 45, y equals 69, 69 inches.